right, here we are. Welcome back to the second half here at tonight's contest. We're getting underway in just a minute or so here, right before we do. Just a quick recap here, obviously, of the first half. Narstown got off to an early lead, 6 nothing. The lead was cut to 4 and about 8-4. to four. And from that point on, it kept getting extended little by little to where we are now. That's 26 for the home team and 10 for the visiting Green Raiders. Second half for the Norristown Eagles, Bernard Gordon, the junior, Samir Bay, the senior, Marquise Bryant, the junior, Luke Kelly. He was out for almost the whole second quarter. He's back on the floor. And Jihad York will also start the second half for the Eagles. And here we go as Samir Bay dribbles just across midcourt. Samir Bay to B.J. Gordon. And the Eagles tightened up the defense there. And late in the first half, they sped up the pace of the game. And things really started to open up. Let's see if they can continue that here in the third quarter as they start to get loose here in the second half. Slow, methodical here to begin as Samir Bay calls it out. Two, that's B.J. Gordon, number one, handles back to Samir Bay. Not in any kind of rush here. Maybe they're trying to get Luke Kelly involved to see if they could heat him up a little bit. Samir Bay, left-hand dribble. Bernard Gordon, three from the front of the Eagles bench. And that is not what the Ridley Green Raiders wanted, but certainly what the Eagles in Norristown wanted. Bernard Gordon buries it three, nothing but net, and that lead is extended to 19 for Norristown. Norristown's playing man-to-man -man here to start the second half. That's John McGill with an open jump shot. That's a two-pointer from the top of the key for McGill, and he's certainly the go-to guy for Ridley Green Raiders. He cuts the lead back to 17, and we're one minute in, or a minute and 20 seconds, I should say, into the second half here. Playoff action, PIAA, District 1. It's Quad A, of course. Norristown Eagles, the nine seed, and they're hosting the Ridley Green Raiders, who are the 24th seed. And Ridley out of the Central League, as Lower Marion won their league. Norristown was able to be co-champs of the Suburban One American League with Wissa Hicken, as Marquise Bay interior pass to Marquise Bryant, excuse me, interior pass to Samir Bay, and he's fouled. It's a blocking foul, the first foul. Sorry, the third foul by Sean Church and the team's first of the half as Samir Bay goes in line for hopefully his first point of the game. First foul shot up and short. You can tell when he left his hand it was short. Second shot for Bay. He'd probably like to get on the stat sheet here with a point. And he does. The second shot's much better. That lead now for Narsan, 18. A little pressure put on, a little token pressure. Not much at, at all as Narsan matches up man to man. Marquise Bryan on Sean Church. Zach Pakian is covered by Bernard Gordon. Luke Kelly on Stiber. McCaffrey is covered by Jihad York. Open shot by McCaffrey. Up, rebound, Bay knocked away. Ridley had it, and they knock it out of bounds. It'll go to Norristown as B.J. Gordon will inbound. Slow, slow sort of tempo here to this start of the second half. Uh, Norristown doesn't need to be in a rush, certainly. Uh, you do have to be careful with such a large lead to stop playing um, and stop doing the things that got you the large lead. And sometimes when you do that, the other team starts to find a way back in and it becomes almost impossible to regain your momentum that you had earlier, but that's probably not going to, we hope, won't be the case tonight. So, as Norristown is uh, attempting to stay focused, stay dominant, stay on top of the game here, keep scoring points to keep it on Ridley. And foul, that foul was committed by Sean Church. It's his fourth foul. Sean Church, one of their top players, he's been in the entire second, um, I'm sorry, the entire game to this point. He has four fouls, and it doesn't look like Ridley has any Intentions of taking him out. That's Luke Kelly to Bryant. Bryant with a funny looking dribble drive shot. Kind of a prayer went up. Knocked away. As Ridley comes the other way. And they're trying to rush to pick up the tempo a little bit more it seems like. Zach Apakian looked like he traveled. Threw up a shot. Just missed. Rebound by Jim. Sorry. By 
Jahad York. Jahad York to Bay. Bay to Gordon. Gordon to Kelly. Kelly wide open three. He missed it. Did chase his own rebound. York and him got a little confused. The ball gets knocked away. Picked up by Sean Church. Sean Church to the basket. That's knocked away. Good hands there. And not much going on here in the second half thus far. Norristown leads by 18. And uh, four po points for Norristown this half. Two for Ridley. And we're almost halfway through the half with four minutes and 40 seconds remain here in the third quarter. Ridley certainly needs baskets if they have any chance to get back in this game. Stiver to John McCaffrey. McCaffrey. That ball is knocked free by Luke Kelly. Luke Kelly running to the rim. Jumps, layup, up and good. Good job by Luke Kelly. And now the lead is at 20. And that's a high for Norristown. Stiber the other way quickly. Up for Ridley and one. It's what Ridley does need if they have any chance to get back in his game. Get down the floor quickly. Get good shots off. And there was one with the layup and the foul. The foul committed by Luke Kelly. Um, conversely, the other side as they, as they came down the last time with a turnover. It's not what they need as the turnovers are uh, certainly going to kill you when you're trailing in the game by, as they are, 18 right now. Foul shot is no good. It stays at 18 for Stiver. No shot there. They got an offensive foul. Good strong drive by Bay as he kind of had a little bit more tempo to the, to the game there. They didn't go as slow, and that is second foul on Bay, and team second here in the third quarter. So another turnover for Norristown. I have them with eight unofficially in the game. As they're in a full court pressure here, um, not real, real tight, just a little show them something kind of pressure as Ridley brings it back up. John McGill to Zach Apakian, and that's off the rim, rebounded after a few tips by Bernard Gordon. He's pushing it here, not going slow anymore. And they'll slow it up now as Bay gets a Bryant wide open. Be Bryant was barking for the ball. Give me the ball, he said. Give me the ball. And he, nice move down low. Big, strong kid. Goes about 6'4", about 220 pounds as he lays it in. Foul on the floor here by Norristown. That's on Samir Bay. Two consecutive fouls for him. Samir Bay's third foul. Team's third, and into the game for Narstown is Jabri Hargrove, who had a great second quarter, really started to open things up for the Eagles, and Jahad York will go to the bench. Zach Apakian, a little fake. May have hit Bernard Gordon in the face as he passes it cross court to John McGill, who, before he put the ball on the floor, he traveled. Bernard Gordon asking the ref for timeout. A hook in the eye, looks like maybe in the mouth of the eye. And there's only four people on the floor as he runs off, and the coach has no idea. Bernard Gordon runs off the floor. Coach Mike Evans calls a timeout as Narstown only had four players there. Um, the player there, B.J. Gordon, must have got poked in the eye. The ref gave him a second, it looked like, to kind of catch his breath and see if he was okay. Not permission to run off the floor and go see the trainer. Nevertheless, that's what he did. Head athletic trainer for Narstown, Dennis Flynn. As Norristown, or Ridley was on the power play there for a minute. As uh, Norristown was coming up the floor with only four players. Coach Evans was quick to see that. He calls a timeout. So they can get their fifth player on the floor. That fifth player is Richard Booknight, senior guard forward who had an, also, he and Dupree Hargrove were the factors in the second quarter. Together they had 14 points. Uh, all but two of the points for Norristown, and they, they really, really made their presence felt. So Norristown now possession after the 30-second timeout. They'll get it quickly to Hargrove down low. Looks like he's getting his shirt pulled. Easy move for him. Strong to the hoop for Hargrove, and he lays it in nearly uncontested. As ball's knocked away by Kurt Lever. Didn't notice him checking. Kurt Lever checked in the sophomore. He came in for senior guard uh, Samir Bay. Samir out with the three fouls. And in for him, as I said, the sophomore Kurt Lever. So for Norristown, it's C it's Book Knight, Lever, Bryant, Kelly, and Hargrove. 
Jump shot. Ridley off the back iron. That's John McCaffrey, no good. Rebounds knocked away and stolen. John McGill has it. He was wide open. He should have shot that. This is it off to Shaw Church. He throws up a bit of a prayer. That's rebounded by Bryant. Bryant, a strong rebounder. I have him with a fit unofficially five rebounds so far. Book night to Kelly. Kelly brings it back to the top. He's being pressured, almost loses the handle and re regains control. Hargrove again tries to get control. Luke going down there, Luke Kelly that is, and it's knocked away by Ridley. Two minutes, 30 seconds remain. Third quarter action, PIAA playoffs here, Norristown Area High School's gym, home of the Eagles. The Norristown Eagles lead 36 to 14. They lead by 22, largest lead of the game, two and a half minutes remain. As the nine seed Eagles take on the 24 seed Ridley. Kurt Lever with a three pointer. His first shot of the game, it's a three and it's cash, nothing but net. John McCaffrey quickly up the floor with a lay on, layup foul by Luke Kelly and one. Nice strong move by McCaffrey, quick to the basket. Luke Kelly commits his, I believe that's Kelly's third foul. Only the second foul, I believe, on Luke Kelly. Here's the foul shot. John McCaffrey, it's up and good. I have Luke Kelly for three fouls. Not up on the uh, scoreboard yet. May have only two. Norristown has 14 fouls. Here in the second half, as Kurt Lever brings up the ball. Norristown again holding that lead of 22, that's after that three-point play, a three-pointer on one end by Lever and a three-point play on the other end by McCaffrey. 22-point lead with a minute 52 remaining here in the third quarter. Kurt Lever, a little entry pass to Jabri Hargrove. Easy lay-in for Jabri Hargrove. And you wonder where this has been, not all season, but he is playing like a dominant force inside. Darstown leads by 24, and the Ridley Green Raiders have no answer for Hargrove, Bryant, Gordon, or Rich Booknight. As Kelly dribble drive to the basket, Luke Kelly, strong move by the junior, and he's fired up after that one as Norristown extends it to a 26-point lead. Kelly, his six point, he's making better impact here. Bryant blocks Church's jump shot. Good defense, staying with the ball by Marquise Bryant, and good elevation, Norristown with a minute trailing here in the uh, minute remaining, excuse me, in the third quarter. I don't want to say well on their way, but they're looking good thus far. Sean Church, air ball. Rebound by Bryant, he's pushing, he gives it away to Church. Church with a lay in. Unfortunate sort of play by Bryant, he's trying to save it, and he just threw it in to Church. That's a gift to for Church, who I have only as having four points this game, and we're under a minute. In the third quarter, Hargrove has the ball. He's been the man for Norristown. Nice pass to Bryant down low. Bryant blocked by McGill. Bryant blocked again by McGill. It's out to Kelly with 40 seconds. Book night to Lever. Lever looks over to Coach Evans for some instruction as we're at 33, 32, 31, 30 seconds. Kurt Lever hand off to Kelly. Kelly hand off to Book Knight. Norristown runs a weave here. Lever. Kelly runs away and they give it to Hargrove and that's just been Hargrove's spot and he throws it away. Another turnover from Norristown, it's 10 and Hargrove, not a smart play there, he's better off just shooting the ball. As Church goes up, he misses, rebound knocked away from Kelly by Church. Three pointer over here by Ken Bartow, that's an air ball. Rebound by John McGill, McGill. Three pointer at the buzzer and that is up and good. And that's number 25, Matt Zhang, recently into the game. Matt Zhang hits a three off at the buzzer. And the three cuts this to a 21-point lead for Norristown, who did get it to... Made it to a... Sorry, it was a 24-point lead for Norristown. At one point, that was their largest lead. That was right before the three hit by Matt Zhang. It's now 43-22 after three quarters here as the Eagles' lead has extended itself after each quarter of play thus far. And noticeably here in the third quarter, 
certainly Norristown had, had it really spread out. Bernard Gordon had three points. Curtis Lever had three. Brian had two. Bay had one. Kelly four. And Hargrove four. So no Richard Booknight in the third quarter. But a balanced attack for the Eagles. The big men starting to really dominate as far as getting the rebounds for second, third chance opportunities. Making it tough on Ridley to cut into the lead. They need Norristown to code one and done on one end and get down the floor quickly. Excuse me, and make layups or open jump shots of their own. 